In today's feature segment, Farm Week's Amy Taylor takes us to a woman-owned and operated business in Woodville, Mississippi that's making a name for itself in the gourmet food industry. Artists armed with a handed down recipe, one stovetop kettle, and loads of determination, Shan Miller started Magnolia Honey Company, offering all natural products sweetened with honey. Now with partners Raven Lewis and Gina Sessions, the trio is enjoying sweet success with its original jellies, sauces, and even pickles. The ladies say Magnolia Honey is committed to not only providing healthy, natural products, but the best in customer service. Mississippi. To many who visit, it's like taking a step back in time. But stay a little while and you'll find this charming small town is a unique blend of southern tradition and modern day business. For example, the woman owned and operated Magnolia Honey Company is making a name for itself in the gourmet food market. Owner Shan Miller talks about how she founded Magnolia Honey Company. There's a company that brings their beehives here and they come here to breed their bees and grow their queens. And if you have property, they'll put their hives out on your place. It helps, you know, pollinate all of your crops and what have you. And as a thank you, they will give you a case of honey. Well, my neighbor at that time happened to own a lot of property. She brought over five pounds of honey. And I just happened to mention to the lady, Miss Joanne Sessions, that sat behind me in church and mentioned to her that Miss Susie had brought all this honey. And I like honey, but it's going to take a lifetime to eat it. And uh, she said, well, I have a recipe for lemon or orange honey jelly I'll bring you. With permission to use that recipe, Shan began her business. Then in 2003, Raven Lewis came on board after receiving a gift from Shan. She gave me a gift uh, in a little box and it was a jar of honey jelly. And I realized that she had started a, a small business and we talked about it and I uh, became involved only as much as I ordered gifts for friends and family uh, for Christmas time. Lo and behold, I started working for her as an employee uh, and then became a commissioned employee. We started selling the product in, elsewhere. Marketing and sales eventually became Raven's role as she sold Magnolia Honey products at small grocery stores and gift shops. Shan is responsible for product development and, and um, cooking. Another active partner is Gina Sessions, who helps with other various aspects of the company. Raven says a big part of their success Wait, comes from one. offering to ship products to customers and keeping an updated website and Facebook page. She emphasizes that product details, shipping options, company history, photos, and contact information are an absolute must for achieving customer satisfaction. We want to make your experience with the company as good as it possibly can be and, and be able to really um, just, just affect the customers positively and let them understand what they're buying because being a product that's sweetened entirely with honey is different from anything else that's out there. We buy our honey from all Mississippi-based producers, which is kind of a great thing. Um, honey is, is more slowly processed by the body. It is the most natural form of sugar. It lasts forever. They found it in the Pharaoh's tomb. Uh, and the fact that we are, we are actually creating 15 different products, basically, that have honey as its, as its main sweetener um, does add some uniqueness. Uh, the, the flavors are just very intense and very, very satisfying. Raven adds that magnolia honey jellies are not just made to be put on toast. The raspberry William honey jelly is wonderful. Uh, cut in a saucepan with some butter and some seasonings and used as a dipping sauce for dark meats and duck breast. Uh, the Jezebel sauce, while it's fabulous over a block of cream cheese, is also wonderful on a pork tenderloin. Uh, it's great on baked chicken. Um, that's one of the things that we're trying to, to get out to people is it's very versatile. In addition, products are sold to restaurants for cooking with and package deals are offered for corporate and business gifts. Since starting Magnolia Honey, the ladies were recognized by Southern Living Magazine for offering some of the best gifts under $25. But the most exciting accolade was the Gold Sophie Award, which is like the Oscar of Gourmet Foods. National Association for the Specialty Food Trade awarded the Gold Sophie to Magnolia Honey's Raspberry William for Outstanding Jam. In response to questions about the unusual names for these items, Shan Miller says there's meaning behind each one. Well, William is my youngest son, and Michael is my oldest son. That's Michael's hot pepper. 
Um, cranberry Lillian was my grandmother. The uh, chocolate lace is actually, my grandfather's name was Alex Lacey Joyner, so that's kind of really after him. Additionally, Hillside Blackberry is named after Raven's home. Juliet's Jezebel sauce is for Raven's mother-in-law, and Libby's mild or hot honey pickles are named in honor of Shan's beloved late niece, Libby Miller. All products are sweetened with only honey and have no preservatives or artificial coloring. In addition to selling from the store in Woodville, Shan, Raven, and Gina take products to trade shows and events like the annual Deer and Wildlife Festival celebrated at the town square. In fact, Raven's son, Ben Lewis, uses some of the ingredients from Magnolia Honey Jellies at the festival's famous Wild Game Cook-Off. You could say it's been a successful effort. Ben Lewis, David Ryan, and others of Team Mallard Mafia have received top placings every year since the event started in 2008. Contest categories include venison, wild hog, fowl, and even alligator. The Deer and Wildlife Festival has something to offer everyone with a family-friendly environment. You will see trade booths offering an endless selection of hunting novelties, arts and crafts like pottery, woodwork, decorative wreaths, paintings, quilts, and even duck calls. Demonstrations are available all day, including the art of carving a canoe out of a cypress tree, and even monkeys riding dogs. Numerous children's activities are set up with a pumpkin patch, face painting, and even photos with Miss Mississippi. And of course, deer and wildlife exhibits are on site as well. Co-chairman Delton Moore says the event is getting bigger every year. Initially we kind of thought this was maybe a big party and we're not sure anybody was going to come, but luckily they did come and uh, we've had thousands every year. Uh, it's continued to grow. And we kind of think of it as a homecoming, even if this is not your hometown. Uh, maybe you could come here and enjoy it for a while with us. Uh, th this is a really special area. It, it really grows on you real quickly. Raven Lewis says she's happy to be part of a community that works to strengthen its economy with progressive ideas while maintaining its traditional small town feel. The more a community stays together with businesses and, and, and individuals getting together to help, uh, the stronger the community will be in the long run. And we see that as, as a positive. We could, we could sit and, and really not do anything and, and still ship stuff all over the country, but being involved in Woodville, this is where we are. This is where we want to stay. Raven Lewis and Shan Miller say Magnolia Honey Company is making it possible for them to achieve their goals and stay right where they are. It can easily be said that this is a happy ending to the story of the gift that keeps on giving. From Woodville, Mississippi, I'm Amy Taylor reporting. You can watch this story on the Magnolia Honey Company again on our Farm Week website, Facebook page, or YouTube. The website address is farmweek.msucares.com. We'll also have a link to the Magnolia Honey Company website. It's www.magnoliahoney.com. Well, how does it taste? It's delicious. It's very different, and I can see why they've had such great success. Of course, I'm a big fan of honey. You <laughs> said, too, that they're striving to improve their business skills, and they've been to some Mississippi State University-sponsored uh, workshops that are designed to do that. Right. They, um, uh, Shan attended the e-commerce wo workshop in Raymond and in Jackson at the Ag Museum um, for the beekeeping um, workshop. Mm -hmm.